Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at some footage from Frodo Troll's livestream from last night. Now, this has nothing to do with what the main part of the livestream was about, which was him going over DMA. However, this is a couple of segments of when Long Island Audits showed up and was on panel. And I want to go over some of the inconsistencies with some of the stuff he brought up. But before we start today's video... As always, a big thank you to every one of my new and current channel members and subscribers. Without your guys' continuous, ongoing support, I couldn't keep this channel going. So I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the page. Leave a like and a comment because it really helps me with the algorithm. And if you can, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, let's enjoy today's video. Now, the first part of this live stream I would like to address is a statement that Sean makes about blurring out people's faces and a question he asks the panel during the stream that is very interesting. Now, I have a question. I haven't asked a question this whole time. Do you yeah, think go for it. That it's inherently, do any of you think that it's inherently wrong and unmoral and unlawful to walk inside. I don't think immoral. unmoral is a word. Let him finish. Let him finish. Okay. Immoral. Excuse me. You're right, Josh. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Do you th any of you think it's immoral, unlawful, or it should be unlawful um, to walk inside of a public building and record? Well, without anything me, else. Me, do you okay. Think, so, do you think that that is? Do you think that it is immoral? Well, first of all, you listed multiple things. So I think what could be immoral is if somebody. You know, would appreciate that their likeness not be not be taken by someone else to be used for purposes that are not within their control. I think that's immoral. I mean, I, I did an entire video on this where it's not just a camera. You have to understand uh, uh, another human being, you know, your your likeness is a part of you. When you're a person, you have a right to control and, and it's it's inherent to you. It's 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 I wouldn't say it's a God given right, but it's you have a ability What's to up, control Mark? how's it who, going who sees you you know you you get to de you get to determine where your likeness goes you could simply never leave the house and never share your likeness with the world i mean that i mean look at myself i mean no one knows what my face is and probably no one ever will but the point is that is a level of control every person has and it's something that it's a boundary that you don't need a law to tell you to respect it's something that naturally you should respect so when somebody takes exception to the idea that hey this person is going to take my image and they're going to go off and use it for something that i don't approve of that feels that that actually feels like a personal violation. Again, it may not be illegal, that's fine. But, right. in, that's but morally, fine. you should actually still be inclined to respect and somebody. Let, let me answer that. Let me answer that. Way, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer it. Yeah, let, I'm, let, gonna answer it. I'm gonna answer it. Yeah. So I, 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 I agree with you, and you might think I don't. I think it is my opinion that if somebody would not want their image being used for any reason, that they should. And I've done this before, except nobody knows it. Because why would I? Why would I announce it? I, I've cut people out of videos who have come up to me nicely and said, hey, sir, I really don't want to be part of your video. I would appreciate it if you didn't record me. I have cut those people out of my videos. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. And we're calling shenanigans, folks, because early on in my YouTube career, I covered a lot of LIA's videos. And, well... He actually had an encounter where somebody did try to say, yeah, he has the right to film at a clerk's office. But when he asked him not to be put in the video, Sean's response was to insult this gentleman. I will actually show you this proof. I Are you okay, sir? Is he disturbing your peace? Excuse me? Is he disturbing your peace? Okay. Is he disturbing? Are you really trying to? I'm really asking him. This is his life. But I didn't do. It's not about can't can't. Just be respectful. I'm be. I didn't. Yeah, but but just because somebody asked you to do something. But so I didn't do it. I didn't. It doesn't. I... Now this gentleman was asked by the by the bailiff if Sean is disturbing his peace, and if so. More than likely, he would have been arrested or kicked out of the courthouse. But what does this guy do? He says no. And just asks Sean to be more respectful to the courthouse. And to say that he doesn't want to be you know, brought into this, but he's being brought in by Sean's own actions. Now, that was one... 
Sir, let him conduct his business, please. Is what Listen, I'm you're not gonna you're not gonna try and find. You oh, am I disturbing your peace? Yeah, I know. I know. Don't worry about that, buddy. Good luck being a bootlicker. Hopefully, I get too far in life. This right here shows the hypocrisy of LIA here. I mean, the guy asked him not to be dragged into this whole situation and that he didn't want to be a part of it. He didn't want to be a part of his video. And when the deputy or bailiff or whatever you want to call him asked him if, you know, he wanted to make a claim against him disturbing his peace, he said no. And when the deputy apologizes to the guy for him being dragged into this, Sean calls him a bootlicker. How is that being respectful? How is anyone going to take what you have to say as truthful when you do actions like this? Now, let's jump ahead to where he tries to say he cannot be blamed or he doesn't want to. Can I ask him one more question, though, before he goes? Someone, yeah, yeah, but hold on, hold on. This. Yeah, go ahead. Just before, yeah, before yeah. you go, Sean. Yeah, I, yeah, I, before I he goes, I'll make sure you have one okay. last question. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Eli, I want you to be able to debate not just me or Tone's content creator, but the average viewer, someone that has absolutely no stake in this, no money to be made, no clout to be made, because those are the most interesting debates I find. So do you accept yes or no? Hmm. How about this? Email me, because maybe we'll do it on my channel. How about that? That smell. Do you smell that? It smells like a bitch. Oh, yeah. Well, because then it's going to be your audience. I mean, oh, I'll debate your audience. I'll idea. debate your audience. Oh, I'll, have, do, do it I'll, I'll do audience. it. Oh. I'll do it. Here's an idea. Do it without an audience. Do it without an audience. Both it. of you record it, and then you guys could air the yeah, recordings no, on your I, I'll channels. debate your audience. Because, because I my it. whole point, listen, Josh, my whole yeah. point in saying that, my whole point in saying that was not, not that it was even a real offer. I'm just saying that, you know, it's easy to debate somebody on your home field where you have, you know, no, 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 no. hold on. Going I'm, I'm going to cut you off right you. here. I've went on frauditors debate where it was five versus one all at once against me. And it wasn't on my home field. I went on Georgia Transparency's uh, channel. I debated five frauditors when one of them was making sheep noises in the background the entire time because they're so immature. So, no, right. it has nothing to do with that. And I'll gladly come on your channel. But like you said, it wasn't a real offer. I'll do it. But would you want to do it? Rogue Nation did it before you. Craig did it before you. Everybody's done it at this point. So you have nothing to be worried about. I doubt LIA would watch this or see this, but I'll be more than blunt with here. I've seen tons of Fraud and Trolls debates, and I've been on some of these panels with, with him when he's debated people. I've been on as someone who's gone after people and asked them questions. He makes people be civil on these. So you would have a fair advantage. Maybe you could persuade somebody. Maybe you might learn something. I would take him up on his offer. Who knows? You might find some common ground and rethink some of the decisions you made when it comes to your quote unquote activism. Here's my, here's my question I wanted to ask you because someone asked, okay, so you said before, like you're not delete laws. So obviously you don't approve of some of his methods, correct? No, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. So if I may ask, have you, have you ever publicly condemned news now Houston or, um, or Texas sheepdog, like certain frauders who are, your first not, auditor, no, are not relevant. Who no that's his audience. Be, well, no, but that's his saying, audience. Have you, have you expressed, have you, have you, well, I'll do decided, it. How about this, Jones? I'll do yeah. it. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now. Oh, so you have no, go on your channel and do it. Go on your channel and do it. They're relevant. They're relevant. He can't. He can't. Well, 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 mark, Mark, Mark. Because he let knows let that's all yeah, his hold audience members. Hold on. Mark, let him answer. But yeah, okay. There's only 450 people here. But, Why don't but, you denounce it on your channel yeah. where you're going to have a, a larger audience to listen? Well, it's fine. Way. We've got the sound bite, but but the point well, is, it, yeah. It, all right, it, go it, ahead. It, let let yeah, him talk. Please, let him please talk. Do. It, please it's, do. It's listen. I completely denounce all of that. And again, I think when you start calling people those kinds of things, and you start and, and you have to back it up. And what? What the fuck? In those well, cases, News Hour Houston's in jail right now for molesting right, his own right, daughters. So. Right. Let me Victim. finish. I, I I just said those cases were proven beyond a reasonable doubt that they did it. So I completely 100% denounce news. Now, I don't know the man. I've never met him. I've never done a video with him. If, if I would have done a video with him or something, then I would feel more obligated to come out on my channel and say, you know what? I worked with this guy in the past. You know, he's done some egregious shit, and, you know, I'm going to denounce him. But I've never worked okay. with him. I've never even Fair talked enough. to him before. Fair.
Josh Abrams, you promote him, and look what he's accused of. Look, look what we know Abrams did, and you promote Abrams on your channel all the time. I do not. I was getting to that, but thank you. Yes, you yeah, do. I, you have promoted I have the post. Abrams. Yeah. I have the post. Saved. Because because one person asked me, I had no idea what he was accused man, of. Man, Reyes, no you're a liar, man. All you do is just, get, well, why don't you just admit why you, you support think, those kinds of people? Why just admit you support those kinds of people and that those people support you. I don't, but, I don't but interact why? with them. Just answer his, his quiz family. question honestly. I have a one-year-old, a two-year-old, I have a wife, I have a beautiful family. That so? I'm a lot of them do. A lot of them do. Well, if LIA wants to play ostrich and put his head in the sand, that's one thing. But you could still make a statement. You could still make a claim that you don't condone the actions of these so-called auditors who are members of your community who have committed some of the most heinous crimes. We know the crimes of news is out Houston. We know what Texas Sheepdog's been accused of. We know what Josh Abel's been accused of. And we know, like, Minnesota Guardian, what he was convicted of. He accepted a plea deal on the grounds of essay in the second degree. He tricked a woman to thinking that he was some form of cop and tried to force favors of her of a sexual nature. And when she wouldn't comply, he used a stun gun on her. It's easy for your community to call out ours and insult us and say that we are condoning criminals. But when you won't do it for your own side... Ew. Okay, I'm not okay, so I'm not worried about the rest of the community. Uh, well, my I overall my overall them. point, my overall point, Sean, of the question was that okay, you feel that that you know auditing is important, you feel that it, it does a service, and there are other people who do it. I'm just saying that as someone who's in that community, do you feel that you have any responsibility to ensure that you know that people, you know, the bad apples are called out and they don't overall tarnish your you know or tarnish your overall objective. I, Let me I, add I, to this I, I because do, we we clean up our community. I called out yeah. one of the biggest piece of shit in our community, uh fraud at Wrangler, lost hundreds if not thousands of subscribers for it and yeah. too bad. We did it because that was the right thing to yeah. do. Where will so we, we call clean out our, our community? All those people, do you all those do that? People that? All those people that we if, if I bring up anybody, it's only going to help them because people who didn't know them are now going to know them. So if I bring up anyone, that's anybody, it's just going to, if I brought up, I, I really do not like Delete that's Laws wrong. at all. And if that's I bring wrong. up Delete Laws, it's just going to send true. people to his channel. So, so, no, so, no, so you're true. suggesting... Yeah, that's not true at all. Wait, 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 wait. You, hang on, hang you on, convince on. yourself of that because you want to believe that you, you're you a legend in your own mind, but that's just simply not true. Yeah, but, yeah, but I'm, just, I'm just going off the that Now that, you're, that, that a large really portion of your audience are the kind of people who would be supportive of someone who committed a heinous act like that. If, I mean, if like they watch the audience, if they watch you, they already know who Delete Laws is. They already know who News Now Houston is. They already right. know who Josh Abrams and they, is. Exactly and, 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 and by and your word saying done. I and denounce that done. type. Yeah, and no, they, they don't. They done. don't because those people hide it. You think frauditors are going to volunteer? You think News Now Houston or Earl, uh, where's the other one? He's Jack Miller is they're not gonna volunteer what they've been arrested for. He's they're, in prison. And for guess what? Back to your point, back to your and he just yeah. said it, Ray. You just said it. You just said it because they already know, right? That's my point. Well, Your whole already. audience is those same people who support Warden and the other ones. It's the same audience that you have. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You just you know, admit. Well, LIA, there is an easy way to find out. Go to YouTube Studios, go to your analytics page, and go to audience. It will show you channels similar to yours that your subscribers are also viewing and subscribed to. Like, if I was to go to my studio, it would show me that people who watch my videos also watch videos like Fraud or Trolls, Tones Over Thinks It's, Frauders Exposed, Uncleaned Hands, Blackheart Knight. You know, it goes on and on. The problem is, you don't want to admit that you're wrong. You don't want to admit that this is a problem. And if you were to denounce them on your channel, yes, you may lose subscribers. But you would gain something more. You would gain respect from a lot more people who may not agree with your actions, but would agree with your statement that crimes against women and children of anything like that is not only despised by people like you or people like us, but I don't your audience does. You I just admitted it, it. that the reason you won't say anything either. on your channel is because the people that are, that are your audience already knows about these folks. Again, that doesn't mean that they support it.
Well, you're they do. They subscribe to them. They're going to go off and, and support that? these people. You, obviously not. I have seven hundred and eighty something thousand subscribers, and and obviously it's not the same amount of number as 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 News Now Houston or. Uh, Reyes, we're not going to even talk about the 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 that the you can claim we don't even know the truth behind your subs yet. So you we are, you're not we're not prepared to have that conversation. We'll have that no, another I, day. I, 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 I got my... And we're going to end the video here, folks. As you can see, LIA won't admit to anything. His lies go deeper and deeper. I don't know anything about this sub situation, and I'm not going to get involved in it. But to answer his question, no, it's not immoral to go and film people in public. However, what is immoral and disrespectful is to treat people as if they have no right. Like they don't have the right to ask you not to put their likeness out there. Because you don't know their situations. They could be trying to escape from a domestic situation, or it could affect their employment. It could put somebody they care about in jeopardy. So if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it really helps me with the algorithm. And if you can, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. And a special thank you to all members of the news team. Without your guys' ongoing, continuous support, I couldn't keep the channel going. So I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart.